just asked is, why am I a Confederate in Southern California? The reason for that is that Southern California was overwhelmingly pro-Confederate. Uh -huh. Most of us don't understand that, don't know that, but at the time that the Civil War broke out, there was a bill in the United States Congress that had been signed by the governor of California, elected on by the people of California, and passed that was going to break California into two states. Northern California, which was the free state, um, California was the free state. Northern California was to remain California and remain a free state. Southern California was to become the territory of Colorado, which would then go on to pursue statehood, and was to be admitted as a slave territory and a slave state. This is because in those days the law of the country was that you admitted two states at a time, one free, one slave, to keep the balance. Mm -hmm. When California was admitted in 1850, there was no companion slave state, and it was considered actually to be one of the major causes of the Civil War. Because if you think about it, what happened in the national government? In the House of Representatives, then as now, representatives are elected based on population size. By that time, the North was way, way bigger than the South, so the House of Representatives was already in control of the North. The Senate, though, then as now, had two representatives from every state. By bringing in only a free state, it threw the balance to the North, and the South was infuriated over this. The reality of the situation was because California was really pretty much pro-Southern all the way, California tended to vote with the South for the next 10 years to the war anyway. But in principle, everybody was upset, and it's considered to be one of the causes of the Civil War. Wow. So once the war broke out, there were people from Southern California leaving by the hundreds to go join the Confederate Army. The Union Army didn't like this idea. There were um, American flags being taken down throughout Southern California and the old Bear Republic flag or the Confederate flag being uh, lifted. The, obviously, the Union, the federal government didn't like this. So they established an army base out by the harbor in Wilmington called Drum Barracks. There's still a museum, a Civil War museum there today in the last remaining building. At the time, the population of Southern California was only about 5,000 people, and they staffed drum barracks with 2,500 soldiers. That many soldiers because the problems in Southern California were that big. The danger, of course, also was the federal government didn't want the harbor of Los Angeles to become an open Confederate port. Remember, there was a Union blockade of ships going all the way from Maryland to Texas. And throughout the Civil War, except for a couple of ports in Texas where the Confederates took them back, other than that, there were no open Confederate ports. So Los Angeles Harbor was a premium. So very early in the war, while all this agitation is going on in Southern California anyway, the Confederate Army from Texas started moving across into New Mexico. They captured Albuquerque and established the Confederate territory of Arizona. Nobody's ever heard of that either. The bottom half of what are now Arizona and New Mexico were the Confederate territory of Arizona with congressmen representing them in the Confederate Congress. That army started moving across to get to California. So troops out of drum barracks in Los Angeles made the longest march in Civil War history at 900 miles across the desert, going in little groups days apart to not use up the water supply, came across and they fought the Confederate Army at a place called Picacho Pass in Arizona. It's southeast of Tucson. So they made it that far. The Union Army has beat them. They pushed them back through New Mexico and back into Texas, and through the rest of the war, all of the lower Southwest remained in Union hands, except for all us agitators in Southern California. Ah. <laughs> and Arizona and New Mexico, yeah. it's, it's just, you know. But the Union troops were really busy. There were Union troops running all over Southern California throughout the war um, because of all of us recalcitrants down here in the South. So uh, it's an interesting history which people don't know much about. Yeah, so. thank you for the history lesson. <laughs> You're thank welcome. you.